Synopsys helps organizations of all types integrate and automate security throughout the application lifecycle while maintaining the velocity that customers expect. In this video, we'll showcase the full spectrum of Synopsys application security solutions through the lens of four types of users. We'll start by showing how developers use our solutions to get accurate, actionable security information in the tools they use every day. After that, we'll look at how development and DevOps teams can automate Synopsys security solutions in an integrated, containerized, high-velocity development pipeline. Next, you'll see how security managers can use the Synopsys portfolio to monitor and manage application security during the development lifecycle. Last, we'll demonstrate how risk managers, such as CISOs, can leverage aggregated risk information to make informed decisions and monitor risk across an entire application portfolio. First, we'll explore how Synopsys tools work in a developer's integrated development environment, or IDE. CodeSight, our easy-to-use IDE plugin, gives developers a low-friction productivity boost by identifying security issues as they code, without the need to switch tools or manually invoke a scan. CodeSight integrates multiple Synopsys application security analysis capabilities, optimizing them for effectiveness at the developer's desktop. This all-in-one, developer-focused solution empowers teams to find and fix defects as early as possible. Let's look at how CodeSight works. Developers start by installing the CodeSight plugin from the IDE's marketplace. Here we're using IntelliJ, which is connected to the JetBrains marketplace. Search for CodeSight in the marketplace, click on Install, and you're ready to start coding. The plugin gives you a confirmation message with the version. Here we have CodeSight 2019.11, which is the most recent release. CodeSight detects which Synopsys tools you're using based on your product subscriptions and licenses and downloads the relevant engines, in this case, the Coverity Static Analysis Engine. The process completes in a matter of seconds. CodeSight detects security and quality defects as you write code, analyzing at the file level and presenting findings in seconds, combined with contextually relevant remediation guidance specific to the developer's interests. Here, we have the WebGoat Java project open in the IDE and four source files open in the editor. As we navigate through the files, the issue list shows the findings for each file. Right now, the scope is limited to the current file. If we look at all scanned files, the issue count goes up because CodeSight is combining results from all open files. Alternatively, you can toggle between scopes to focus on the file you're currently working on. CodeSight runs the high-fidelity file-level incremental analysis mode of Coverity. It does this with absolutely no configuration. All developers have to do is download the plugin and set it up with their Polaris server. In this example, the initial scan found several issues in this file. Click on an issue to see a detailed description of the defect, the category, the related CWE, and most importantly, actionable remediation guidance to help you correct it. Timestamps help you differentiate between code in the original code base and vulnerable code that you've introduced. This information can help you make decisions before you check in your final changes. CodeSight also provides data flow traces for issues. Let's look at this cross-site request forgery issue and open up the contributing code events. We see the specific code causing the problem, the line number of the main event, and the line numbers of supporting events. You can navigate these events to understand the scope of the issue and where the problem areas are in the code base. Contributing and main events are also indicated by line markers in the editor. For example, this SQL injection issue appears at line 62, and this cross-site scripting issue appears at line 56. If you hover over the line, CodeSight shows you the event call graph. It also gives you inline guidance about the problem. If you don't want to use the panel, you can work in the editor by looking for these icons, which help you understand and navigate different issues. CodeSight helps manage local scan results and shares triage metadata with the Polaris server. For example, say you're looking at a legacy code base and you see an issue that's irrelevant for the current release. If you choose to dismiss it, it moves to your dismissed queue. Because CodeSight is constantly syncing with the Polaris server, the Polaris admin can view any changes there and, if needed, override them. If that happens, this issue will reappear in the queue to be fixed. This complete synchronization between the IDE plugin and the server is available to customers out of the box. CodeSight currently supports Coverity static analysis and Black Duck support is targeted for release during Q1 of 2020. Speaking of Black Duck, let's take a look at what Black Duck Radar does for developers. Black Duck Radar is a Chrome plugin available for free through the Chrome Web Store. 
It provides real-time support for developers to identify packages that have security vulnerabilities or policy violations based on Black Duck's extensive knowledge base. The plugin also provides insight into projects that might already be using the component and whether newer versions are available, functionality we'll explore in this demo. Install the plugin by navigating to the Chrome Web Store and searching for Black Duck Radar. Add the extension to the Chrome Web Browser and enter the credentials for the Black Duck instance you'll use to check for vulnerabilities and policy violations. Once the extension is installed, a Black Duck will appear at the top of the browser. Developers can use the extension whenever they navigate to a repository, whether public or their own artifactory repository, to find and use new open source components. When a specific package has not been identified, Radar will provide instructions and links to navigate to any supported public repository. Once you navigate to a repository, you can search for any open source component. In this example, let's search for Apache Commons file upload. When we select a specific version of this component, Radar shows me all relevant Black Duck details directly in the browser. We can see vulnerabilities associated with the component, projects that are already using the component, and whether newer versions are available. All this information appears directly in the browser to provide full transparency and give developers a seamless way to integrate the power of Black Duck into their development process. You've seen how CodeSight enables developers to build secure, high-quality software faster. Next, let's see how a DevSecOps engineer could integrate and automate the Synopsys toolset in a typical cloud development workflow.